Grief? Is that money? That's gotta be worth something, right? Oh wait, use existing emote. Hold up. Let's see. Uh, okay. Wait, let's go with this one. Wow. Choose animation. A reroll. Ooh, got some nice ones here. Flame Tongue Yearling is pretty darn good, though. Okay. I've done a test emote. I've made Numot WoW with an extra W spin. I don't know how long it takes to go into effect, but... Is it spinning? It's not spinning on my page. Maybe I need to refresh. Oh, there it goes! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, you just need to refresh the page and it'll work. <laughs> oh, you know what? It doesn't work on my OBS overlay currently. Uh, let's see. Stream elements. I should be able to refresh here. I guess that might be on my stream elements page. Shikari is way too good. Agony or Unholy Heat now? I think Heat is better. It goes into both decks. Ooh, Kaleidoscorch is also real good. That's fine. Alright, uh... Overlays... Hellmongrel? Okay, yeah, maybe we're just doing madness nonsense. Yeah, it's not working on my overlay page. It might just have to be that I refresh, or when I restart OBS, it'll start working again. Yeah, it's not working even when I refresh. Oh god, they don't even... They don't even spin around. Um, synchronize with one, one another. If somebody put, paste one like a second later, it will be in a different position. <laughs> Anyways, um, what do we got here? I'm not huge on this. Maybe just take Battle Plan or the Companion. They look sync to you. Oh, mine are not in sync. Mine are all spinning uh, at different times, different revolution rates, or same same rate, just different timings. Oh wait, am I just stupid? No, it's not. Never mind. It was definitely doing it earlier. I don't... I... Okay. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. Leave me alone. Could have sworn. Uh, what do we got here? Spear? Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention to the draft. Ooh. Bridge is good. Manticore's fine. Restoration. Lots of good card choices here. I do like access to sideboard mog salvage. I think that's really solid. I mean, I'm not locked into black. I could still be doing the uh, the artifact shenanigans. Both skill and potential are good in the modular deck too. Yeah, we could still be running these. Shikari's real nice. I mean, I opened the grief, so. MTGO Shuffler, aka Satan. Thank you for the 15 months. Grief into. A little more money? Money for the nummy? Dermo taxi. What? Tragic Fall or Prototype? Alright, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take the prototype here. Big fan of that two drop. Ooh yeah. Spike versus collapse. 
Mm, Spike's pretty good. What removal do I already have? I have Heat, Yearling, Scorch, and Spear, so I can probably just take the Spike. It's not like it makes a Germ, it makes a Flying, artif or flying Token for me as well. Artifact Token, I should say. I'll take the Mind Collapse now over the Reaver. Passing another Mouser, that's fine though. Although, hmm. Man, I do want to have a really low curve, but the, the nice thing about the Collapse is that you can just cast, like, even in this deck, casting this on turn three is not awful. You play a creature, you kill a creature, you just start smashing. Yeah, that's true. We wheeled the Mousers late last time, too. Diamond Lion. It's a two-man artifact creature. Straight up worse than prototype. Could take a battle plan here. There's another Hell Mongrel there too. I mean, I'm not full committed yet. I could still just take the Mongrel. But I guess we still want the Diamond Lion since we have the Shikari. That's fine. Okay, I do like Javelinier. I don't love passing Bridge. Extruder's decent as well. But I think the one drop modular is too OP. People sleep on the Extruder, I think. That's a lot of Hell Mongrels going around. Gargadon's okay. I don't think you need it in the modular artifact deck. Yeah. Left, right, left. Hopefully we see no black in pack three and we just get hooked up again in red and white. Red was coming around real nicely in pack one, right? Got the early yearling, the heat, the Kaleida Scorch. I think people sleep on this card. It's so good. Especially if you can get more than two on the back end, you know? Um, another slasher, another skill. Kind of what I'd like to take another skill here, huh? I don't really want to load up on fives. 30 mousers, 10 planes? Sure, why not? Try it for science. I think the cookbook overperforms. I don't know if we want a second spear. I'll take to the patrol this time. I just don't want too many fives. More streamer. More. Don't think we need three skills. Ugh. I don't have any of the uh, foundry helixes or whatever, though. That's what we're missing. All right, I'm going to do a test Newmont jam here in a second. Chat can let me know if it works or not. I don't think it's the right size, but we'll see. Image file size is too large. Rip. I will have to work on that later. Mm, I still think I like the longer version better. Karmic Guide. Could it be right that I don't take Karmic Guide and instead take like Helix? <laughs> Yeah, Karmic Guide is pretty darn gross, though. But it's also 5 mana. I'm doing it, chat. I'm taking the Helix. You can't stop me, because I just did it. Stop! Where are the cheap cards? God, I'm not going to second pick a Slasher, am I? Uh, zero mana artifact! artifact ooh. All right, let's see if this works. No, all the Gargadons have been wheeling. I guess we'll just take the Knighted Mirror here. Break Ties is also decent, but I need more critters, and this one holds counter as well. Boon's great, so is Whelp. 
Boone's pretty good, but I think I like taking the whelp still. Um, emotes. Try this again. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see if that works. Newmont Jam is now active. <laughs> I don't know if it's well positioned or well sized, but. <laughs> It works. <laughs> it might be a little bit too small, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, I could probably take late to dinner here over another companion. I could also just take one of the artifact lands. Let's take that potential now. It's, it's, oh, I guess I'm going too fast. Cat Jam is a little bit slower. I know, but the overlay is probably not going to work um, until I restart. And it might not even work after that, even. Damn. Where are all my artifact creatures, bro? Blech. I guess I'm going to take this. Uh, what are we thinking? 16 lands? Busy hands! Thank you for the 21 month sub! And Ulf5, thank you for the 16 months. It doesn't have modular itself, no. It shouldn't be a sub emote. Oh, sorry, it is, sorry, it is a, yes, sub emote, but not a Twitch emote. That you can just use. Alright, Wheeling Knight and Mirror was good. I would re uh, recommend just refreshing the page. This card's actually really scary with tramplers and the like. What's up Sakaji1? Thank you for the 39 months of Prime Gaming. Oh, nice. We wield the boon. Is this worth playing? I only have Capricrome, Foundry Helix. That doesn't seem good enough. If I maybe had more than one Helix, but. Hey, the Mike Hypothesis. Thanks for gifting a sub. Alright, I don't actually think I want the late to dinner. Break ties is fine. I probably don't need this trap runner. No, 16 lands I think is what we want. The yearling is going to be a little bit hard to cast, isn't it? I suppose this is still good later on, though, since it scales reasonably well. I think I keep all of the skills because of the uh, hexproof or, or whatever. Ah, this is so versatile. I don't think I can cut that. Maybe I do just cut one of the blacksmith skills, but... Ah. They're so good. Oh, I kind of actually forgot about the companion. No, I don't want to cut any cheap artifact creatures. Yeah, I like cutting spear. I don't know if it's correct. Like, the trample on Knighted Mirror is really good. I can see cutting patrol as, like, my uh, worst two drop. Sure, maybe spear and a patrol is fine to cut. All 
Oh, I don't know if this is right. Uh, this yearling is going to be super hard to cast. Especially, you know what? Especially think uh, since I think I want to go up another planes because I can't, I can't actually uh, companion for a planes. I can only companion for a red source. So maybe I go seven red sources. Oddly, cut the yearling, but just add the patrol back. No, I don't think the depot is worth it. God. How are you ever cutting this card in red? Javelinier is real good in this deck. It's not going to be a four drop. It, I'm not going to be able to cast this until much later in the game, but I, I don't know how I'm cutting. That doesn't make sense. Fine. It's still fine with seven sources. That's fine. Eight sources, re really, even with the companion. This deck just wants artifact creatures for modular purposes or like Shikari purposes. Affinity purposes. I'm going to mulligan into a six land hand. Ugh. <laughs> Come on! Alright, I'm not going to five. I'm just going to pitch the slasher here. I would probably go to five if I didn't have companion, but... Okay. Come on. Yeah. Magic has not been very kind to me today. That's... Alright, good enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, we, this is a free roll. I opened a grief. This is just Magic's way of saying, look, I'll give you the money, but you ain't get any lands, honey. I wouldn't have conceded if they didn't have a 7-5 uh, Trampler coming on the battlefield in a couple turns. But there was no way I could beat it without drawing, what, Mind Collapse, and then I would only be able to cast it if I drew a Mountain to Sack? I don't know. As a wise man once said, that's magic, baby. Now hold up, hold up. That looks like a good hand. Henrius Houdini. Got a third land in there? Y'all got any of them third lands? <sighs> wow, that's amazing. Too scary to leave discard outlet, I think. I think I just push damage as quickly as I can here. Given that I have Helix. Rick on! Thank you for the 31 months. Starfish? Is that the best you can do? I can beat a Starfish, I think. Make me discard on upkeep, eh? Would be a shame if I had an instant. Turn six, I'm at 30 and they're dead. No big deal. All right, that seemingly went a little bit better than the previous game. Just slightly better. Turns out drawing lands and casting spells. Well, not a bad thing to do in a game of magic. 
I'll consider it getting it all if I uh, win this game. Because I also opened the grief. <laughs> Marjonly. All right, all right. Uh, this hand really wants to draw an artifact to cast on turn two. The power depot? I don't think so. This doesn't cast all of my spells. This is only artifacts that I can cast for colored mana. I think I have too many non-artifacts to make that uh, worthwhile. If I had more sacrifice outlets, I think it would also be worth it, but I don't. God, this is so sad. There's no way it's right to run out Shikari next turn, is there? God, I guess it is. That's terrifyingly sad. Because I, I, I want to get two artifact creatures online ASAP. All right. I'm debating if I want to attack into the Mongrel here in Blacksmith skill, but they would only have to discard two extra cards. That's probably not all right. Oh, they didn't even have a Mongrel? Okay, well, now I feel good. In theory, they could still have a Mongrel. Just opted not to cast it. I should have played this pre-combat. Probably should have just booned as well. That's sad. Poor OP. Does Helix win next turn? Maybe. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14. Yeah, if I went for it. Alright, we're going to get some madness up in here. I don't think we really care if they like uh, agony that, right? Just modular over, anyways. <laughs> More animated emotes. No, they're, I don't think they're running five color. They're two, maybe three tops. Okay. Looks good. Dead on board, got a protection spell. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> Modular is so annoying for the red black deck. Because, save for what, Flay Essence, the majority of the removal is damage-based. And so when your opponent gets to move all of the <laughs> counters over to another creature, it's just like, come on, man. Ripperino. Playing versus a 2-0. and Why you do this? Well, let's not get uh, excited yet. I still need one more land here. I don't see the record. MTG bot does. And then MTG bot whispers me sweet nothings. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I'm not not going to play out my Knighted Mirror, but if it dies to Unholy, it's going to be really, really bleh. Okay, good, it didn't. That's fine. All 
Are they ever blocking here? Meh, I'm just gonna kill it anyways. Maybe they misclick and give it double strike. <laughs> Hoping to draw a, a mountain or something. Just an untapped land would be fantastic. Okay. Actually, do I even want to do this? Could just make a flyer now. I think we're just going to make a flyer. I don't think I want to pump yet. Oh, I always actually forget about that. Good thing I didn't go for it, yeah. It has to be an artifact to get the pump. That could have been very, very awkward. <laughs> Jeez. That's a lot of tracking going on. Alright, I guess I need to draw my boon to give this flying. Can you guys hear that? Probably when I talk, right? Ugh. <sighs> Feels dead, man. Yeah, that's the uh, 69420 nice dungeon downstairs. If you want access to Newmont Jam, you gotta sub. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm just dead to fling, right? Or, uh, Helix. No, I would have gone to... Oh, no, no, I was dead to fling. I guess I just have to level this up now. And... Get lucky? I don't even know. God, these both have Menace! Maybe they don't block. You never know. I don't think I'm dead here, am I? Mm, might be dead now. But I don't really have an option. I have to save my creature. This is the only way I can win. Frizzy Fry Frog. Thank you for the 24 month sub. So I have to double block here. I guess technically I could still win. I need to find one more point of damage somewhere. Because I have access to technically 10. Again, that's assuming they have nothing. No! All right. D-E-D. Lelian87! Thank you for the 27 month sub. Bad news, they have a better version of my deck. So we need to go for cheese wins. And let me tell you, it ain't easy being cheesy. This is just too much mana. No can she slap. All right, let's just hope we draw our perfect curve out. One drop artifact, two drop artifact, Shikari. 
I can only keep this hand because we have two early removal spells. Right? We can Kaleida Scorch their first play and Break Ties their second. I think that's the only reason that this is a keep. Admittedly, not having anything to do on turns one or two is uh, bad. See, it's so awkward to wait. Like, obviously, I want to play the Knighted Mirror here, but if I wait, then after I Scorch, they get to Modular on something else, and then I go for Break Ties, but if they've played another creature afterwards, it's just like... <laughs> Uh so bad either way. I guess if and when I hit 5 mana, I can Scorch and then break ties whatever they target. But they're just going to start playing trackers now, right? Dromedary, okay. That's pretty cute. All right, take six. Ooh, the Skellion. Planes would be good, I guess. Boo, mine collapsed back to dead. Yeah, it's probably not going to work for a little while, would be my guess. Yeah. Well, I can't kill them next turn, so I guess I have to block here. And really, I just can't beat anything. Yeah, sure, all right. Good enough. Better deck, better draws. I can't keep this. Can I? <sighs> I have so many one and two drops. Like, slightly better, maybe? You would own me 1v1? Probably. Griff Games, uh, thank you for the eight months of Prime. I ain't scared. Kinda sucks, I can just kill it now. Oh, that's a lot of damages. Take six, all right, we racing. I don't think I can afford to hold up skill. Uh oh, what the hell is this? Yeah, it's pretty bad for me. Uh. Nice. All right, that was very good. Now it makes it very hard for them to attack. All right. So they're dead on board now. Multiple ways.
If they have the plus three plus three trick, they got me, I guess. Maybe I should be double blocking that just because. But we just scorch them here. Okay, one more. Salvage. Let's go. No, because I put five toughness on four power. So it did matter. I could just... I probably should have double blocked the 5-4. They kill both my creatures, but then I go to 4 instead. If they're playing red-green fat, I'm wondering if this spreading insurrection could actually be good. I think I'm going to try it. Let's cut another 5. God, I'm going to keep and I'm going to draw something to do on turn 2. Oh my god. Uh, no, not like that. <laughs> How many Ragavans have I fought against today? Jesus, they're just going ham on it. No, <laughs> they took on Holy Heat. Well. <laughs> that was fun. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Step one, fade the Ragavan. We'll be on the play here, so this is fine. Good hand. Look at that. Two drop, three drop. Not as good as one, two, three, but at least we have some early plays. <sighs> I swear to God. Okay, thank God. They should definitely attack there, right? Playing a modular deck. So Reese, thanks for the seven months of Prime. I will say this, Insurrection on the Gargadon after a Mind Collapse would be real juicy. If we can draw a couple lands. It was actually surprisingly close to lethal. Eighteen, please. <laughs> All right, yay, we did it. Uh... The emotes are on. It's just not. It doesn't work on my uh, OBS right now because I haven't refreshed afterwards. Yeah, that was some really good cheese. All right, GGs, good beats. Salvage a two and one and got a grief. If you missed it, chat, I killed my own, uh, I killed my own 2-2 with Mind Collapse to, uh, pump up my Double Striker one additional time. Dermotaxi, I have yet to play it. Which probably means it's bad. All right, let's uh, let's open some chesties to call it a day or to end the day. Vivian Monsters Advocate, is that worth anything still? Was it ever worth very much? Probably not. Mammoth. Another Vivian and an Asmorana. 
That Vivian used to be worth a buttload. Thing in the ice. Ooh, hello! Okay, that is a bingo. That is a big ol' bingo. Wait, is that still worth something too? A lot of the DFCs are worth a lot. Oh no, that one's gone way down. Steam vents, not scalding tarn. Brutal expulsion. A lot of 45 peepees there, nice. Hatching plans. All right, run it back. Go infinite, baby. Wow, actually doing it. I started with 12, I turned it into 15 and a lot of PP. Peace. <laughs> Chat, we're doing it, we're going infinite. Oh, Thoughtseize! Come on! Infinity! Notorious Throng. Willow the Wisp. Yadaro, 35 PP, not bad. Tyvar Kel, eh. Promo Strixhaven Stadium. Oh, now you're talking my language. Seachrome Coast and a Mana Barb. Questing Beast! Enigma Sphinx. Nothing. The Great Henge. All those cards have come down way far, though. Nico Eris. <laughs> A lot of mythics. Boom and bust could be worth it maybe a little bit. Oh, nope. I have too many of them for, be for them to be worth anything. Dormant Gomazoa. Alright. Didn't get much back there, but got some. Five, maybe six. 12 to 15 to 5. It is not redeemable, no. Any of those type of sets generally are not redeemable on MTGO. Hey, a Tundra. Okay. I think the blue duels are still worth close to 10 ish. Trade routes, stitch in that time. Dusk and Dawn. Edenist's Trove. Praetor's Grasp. All right, we get one more roll. Oh, VMA is three ticks? Oh, we go. Literally one more roll. <laughs> Easy money. I'm guessing uh, that's probably a brick. 
All right, friendos, I'm going to call it good there for today. Thank you all for watching. Glad you didn't forget about me when I was on